We've been doing this movie with Prissy P and I found out about an ancient grain. They consider it a superfood and I wanted to try it out. It comes from the north part of Africa. I was gonna try it with the tea called CI. drop a new video enjoy watching now let's eat all right first I want to show y'all how I prepared it I went on the, the site of the company that I bought the phone yo from and they gave me instructions with a YouTube video on how to clean it and prepare it okay now it looked like grits or what is that Mota meal or cream of wheat and they give a list of stuff that you can try it with so I'm I'm gonna try it by itself first but I also got me some 100% blue agave that I'm gonna try it with because when I used to eat things like hot cereals I used to put sugar on them but no since I don't eat sugar no more I'm gonna try it with the uh, with the agave and this is what it looked like Now, I'm going to try it without adding any agave to see if it tastes like grits or multi meal or whatever those hot cereals are, if they're similar. If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here a while, you know it's time for that countdown. So here we go. Three, two. Now, it kind of look like grits and all those other hot cereals. Check it out. One. Oh yeah. It reminds me of a, a lot of it too. But I know, I know Keisha like it this way, but for me to really get it, I got like a kid's taste buds when it comes down to things like this. So I'm gonna put some agave on it to see how, how that tastes. Cause I know if, it's, if it has a sweet taste to it, I'm probably gonna like it a lot better. I can eat it without the, the agave, but I know I like it sweet. So I'm gonna add some agave. On the package, it said you can add cinnamon and honey and things like that, but I don't eat none of that stuff. So I'm gonna mix me some agave in this because it's pretty good without it. Hmm. Yeah, some more of that. That's good. That, that's tasting better and better as it go. Okay. Hello. They also said that this grain, um, that the starch that is in this grain is resistant starch, it means it's natural. Okay, this is very good. I ordered this off of Amazon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a description, uh, a link in the description below. So if you wanna try this out, it's very healthy. 
They consider it a superfood. I think you can even get kids to eat this, especially if you put the agave in it or something sweet. And if you're worried about like, um, what is it, Carbon carbonic acids and things like that. Or a healthier lifestyle, stuff that's not going to put weight on you. This is the way to go. I'm not a breakfast person. I pretty much drink water in the morning, but I definitely could. If I was going to eat breakfast, I would eat this. Now, this is the Siha. It looked like regular tea. I haven't sweetened it or nothing. It smells like regular tea too. I'm gonna taste it without sweetening it and see what it tastes like. It just tastes like regular tea. So now, I'm gonna add some sweetener to it. Some agave. Oh, that's real good. It tastes like regular tea. They say it had like a nutty flavor. I guess, I guess so, but it tastes good to me. They, um, the the Africans in, in Guinea, they swear by this stuff. They say that it regulates the, the liver, the the galls, the gallbladder, the Kidneys, it'll help flush your kidneys, help flush your liver, it'll flush your, um, your, your gall, your gallbladder, your pancreas. So, I need all of it flushed. It's like a, a natural cleanser, I guess. But it's good though. I also bought this from Amazon. I'm going to leave a, a link in the description for this too. This wasn't a grocery store adventure taste test. This was an Amazon adventure taste test. Plus, you know, being a YouTuber, we watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I saw a lady on there because they she was on a cooking channel, on a cooking show. Um, I forgot her name, Chef something. I'm gonna leave her name right here. And she was saying that this is the way to go. And I also, because if you watch YouTube, you would have came across videos of Dr. Sabi. He also mentioned this in a few of his videos saying that this is a, a a grain that has zero starch so uh and starch is a carbonic acid and it causes a lot of different type of disease for you know what I'm saying dis-ease so i'm pretty much trying to stay away from mucus forming foods and foods that's going to put weight on me because i'm actually in the process of trying to lose weight y'all see us in the gym working it out but and this is this will be this this uh um, will be something good to to have in place of like a breakfast cereal if you want if you wanted to have like a a, a breakfast regimen to add something healthier to your to your diet and it's loaded with a lot of things iron in particular and most people are lacking in iron so phone yo <laughs> it's pretty good it's also one of the um grains that's on dr sabi's nutritional guide and i i didn't think i was gonna like it but because i i fell in love with the what is that the uh the quinoa i pretty much like this that's the reason I tried it because this is the smallest grain that's been cultivated and it's been cultivated for over 5,000 years so that's good.
So roomies, thank you all for letting me into your home, your house, your workspace, your bedroom. But if we're in the bathroom, make sure you wash your hands. Don't come out the bathroom smelling like you was in the bathroom. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, y'all. We love you. Don't forget to live, love, and laugh. Bye, y'all.